Hi, I'm Don Foley from the Dell OEM team. I'm here today with my friends, David Everett and Mark Lockbeeler from Single Store. Thanks for having us, Don. Appreciate you guys coming. So can you tell us a little bit about what Single Store does? Yeah, so um, we're a Silicon Valley startup. I actually scale up, we're about 400 employees now. Um, and we've created a truly modern relational database. So we do both analytical uh, as well as transactional database management. Uh, we do it in the cloud and we do it on-prem as well. Um, but we do it blazingly fast. We can take in any type of data, um, be it uh, geospatial, time series. Uh, we even do uh, structured and unstructured JSON. Um, and then we provide that uh, to be queryable in like milliseconds. Uh, we're really the fastest database out there. So there's lots of folks that claim to have really fast databases. What's, what's different about your technology? Yeah, so I'm gonna have Mark help me out here a little bit, but what we do is we ingest the data um, into uh, memory, and that's been our historical strength, right? And we do that at trillions of lines of data a second, right? But then the way we, we've structured our table, um, we can move that onto SSD in our columnar store almost immediately and, and provide sub-second performance for queries. So we can skip a lot of the ETL processes that other databases need to do. Um, and actually we move so fast, we don't even need to cache the data. So we actually can go from ingest to insight in milliseconds. Right, Mark? Absolutely, and it's all about adding real-time decisioning with into your historical decisioning, like customer experience analytics or real-time debit card fraud, or catching the cyber. Um, but we're all about speed, we're all about scale, and uh, what we do differently is, as we ingest, as David mentioned, in a highly parallel fashion, we're able to also have the consumption layer working at the same time. So operational database with OLAP database. Uh, so it's very, very exciting. So how is that different from so many other databases that claim to be fast? Yeah, so um, there are a lot of databases out there, right? The Gartner Magic Quadrant has re reviewed over 360, and we're one of only 20 on the cloud uh, database management system, uh, Magic Quadrant. And what we're doing really differently is we kind of see databases as having come through three different eras. So the first era was these big monolithic databases, think Oracle, right? Um, they kind of did everything well, but they're big, they've gotten difficult to manage. You're trying to scale up with these things and uh, they become very expensive and difficult to manage. And, and, and they didn't have all the features that um, uh, data applications really needed. And so then we went into this NoSQL or the second era of databases. And we started writing all these NoSQL databases that did unique things like text search um, or caching or any number of things that uh, were solving individual problems. But the problem there is now you've got in an average uh, environment, maybe 15, 20, 25 different databases that you're trying to manage, all doing something different. What we set out to do and have actually accomplished is consolidate into what we call the third era of databases, a single store that brings in all database types, does all types of workloads, provides all the features of NoSQL, but is delivered in a ANSI SQL um, environment, or ANSI compliant SQL environment. And one of the other things that I'd like to add to David's uh, comments there is we're actually incredibly scalable. So scalable on the ingest, scalable out to users, scalable out to the internet or customer facing apps. Um, while at the same time, we're bringing in today's data or the last second's data, and we're incorporating that and helping to drive better business decisions instead of using last night's batch. So we're all about uh, bringing in current data and making it available to analytics and making better decisions, faster decisions uh, that impact uh, production environments. So how are customers using it? Um, well, there's a number of use cases and frankly, we, we cross uh, probably all verticals, but um, one of the things that's a very quick and easy thing to do is start running your business in real time. And we've seen it with a number of large companies is taking those slow dashboards, you know, with the, the, the spinning ball of death, right? As you're trying to query all this information, a good business is run on some very complex dashboards. And we interface with Tableau and Looker and all kinds of dashboards, but turning that into a fast board. So think about a stock ticker and the way that's just constantly updating the data. Think about if all of your KPIs and your business drivers could be looked at real time, what that would do for the decision making of your, of your company. We have lots of fortune, well, actually 50 companies that are doing that right now. Yeah, as a matter of fact, we have one very large Silicon Valley company customer in the Fortune 50. Um, 
where the CEO's dashboard was taking 45 minutes to refresh. Single store came in and we got it down to milliseconds. So we're excited about that. Um, we're also excited about being able to help people and you know, we can start small, medium, large, um, simple, moderately complex solutions, complex or extra complex. Um, as an example, we run underneath a large telecoms 5G. Um, as an example, we help with Caesars um, and their reward program, uh, Uber, surge pricing. Those are just some examples. So if you think about, you know, milliseconds translate to millions of dollars in the financial sector. So we're really well embedded there. Um, the, the dynamic pricing model that we use at Uber, I mean, we all know it, right? Surge pricing. Um, we're talking to insurance companies about being able to quote policies in real time based on national weather system information um, coming in in real time, massive amounts of data. We can do it right here in the Venetian and the Palazzo with their dynamic hotel room pricing. Mm -hmm. um, anything that you've built to optimize your pricing model, well, if you wrote an optimization application, wouldn't you like that to run as fast as possible? The best way to do that is on single store. So why are you partnered with Dell? What's the advantage to working with us? Yeah, so um, what we really want to do with Dell and, and why we're partnering with you guys is that, frankly, we are a software infrastructure play that runs beneath all of um, what we're doing in data and analytics, right? So we're not, the, we're not the algorithm. We're not the fraud detection application. We're the software infrastructure that makes that go blazing fast, right? And we perform faster on Dell hardware uh, than we do in some of the other environments that we can perform on. And so we've done some of our fastest benchmarking on the 950. We've done some of our largest scales on the 740. And as you know, we GA'd this week our OEM engineered solution built on your workhorse 750. Um, and then, you know, we're going to get into talking about some of the tiers of storage, but we also um, just had a white paper published with you guys. Um, actually, you published it on uh, how we perform and scale out storage independent from commute, compute on PowerFlex. So it just there's a lot of connection there. We're here today at the NVIDIA uh, suite. So, so how are you working with NVIDIA these days? Yeah, so NVIDIA is really cool. And obviously GPUs are a big part of this show, a big part of the industry and I'm really excited about it. So they really form part of the technical ecosystem that supports um, the solutions that we're trying to solve for, the problems we're trying to solve for. Um, a good example is, uh, and it's publicly referenceable, is Epigen. This is a company that's looking at not just still videos, but actually motion video in real time um, to try to do facial recognition, right? And I think if anybody's done any reading about facial recognition, there are some real social um, and legal issues around the accuracy there, right? I mean, there, there have been a lot of cases of false identification, right? And the issue there is latency, right? Um, you're making trade-offs. If I wanna be fast, I have to look at a little bit of data, and that means I may not actually get the right, the right conclusion every time. Uh, if I have to look at things fast, um, you know, I, may not, I may not just be able to get to it in time, uh, or if I, if I look at all the data, I won't be able to get to it in time to prevent or, or to capture whatever I'm trying to do with this facial recognition. And so um, we need a GPU provider that can really process all of that video very, very fast, right? So then we can consume that, that data. And Mark will talk just a little bit about what we do with, um, with photo and video data to, to drive much more accuracy um, and much more performance in facial recognition. Yeah, let me just add a little bit of the technical side to, to this usage case. So um, we're going to take those images and we're going to store them as in a vector form inside a single store. And just imagine a large repository of vector images. Um, so NVIDIA processes with speed, a real-time video, but we've already got a catalog, let's say, of employee photos inside of a very large single store on, on Dell. And so what we're gonna do is as the employee walks through the front door, the camera's gonna be scanning and they're gonna be able to see using AI, ML, NVIDIA, single store and Dell, they're gonna be able to tell, wait a second, that's not an employee and the flag goes up, but that's all done using all our, our co-technology. The vector math is what makes it happen inside a single store as far as the matching. So we have a lot of vector functions inside a single store. And you know what this really is exciting about? is this has real world results. So we partner with a company called Thorn that actually when, um, when law enforcement discovers that a child has been abducted or has gone missing, this company built on single store technology 
is able to actually go scrub the web and the dark web and go find um, through facial recognition and pairing when someone's photo comes up on these sites that, I mean, let's, it's really sad to say, but there's, there is human trafficking in the world, right? And they get popped up and they get, they get sold on the dark web. Um, together, Single Store and Thorn, uh, with this technology, have saved over 17,000 lives. Wow. So it's, it really matters in the real world. Yeah, it's amazing. How do we find out if a customer could benefit from your technology? Yeah, so kind of the neatest and most exciting thing I want to talk about today, and we, we, we delivered it here right at Dell Tech World. Uh, we launched it on Tuesday, is our data intensity assessment. So it's an assessment tool. You can go to singlestore.com. Uh, and I'm sure our marketing people are going to do a really good job of directing you to it. Um, but it's going to look at what are the things you're trying to accomplish with that application? How large are the data sets? How quickly do you need to go from data ingest to data insights? Those types of questions. And by the way, there's lots of times, right, when just your plain Jane, you know, old Oracle, you know, database might be fine, right? There's lots of use cases when it's fine. But this is going to help you identify how you could benefit. You know, one of the things we talked about, we, we have a very large, you know, you probably have in your, in your wallet, um, you know, tier one U.S. bank that uses us for fraud detection on their charge cards, right? They went from a five minute delay to be able to run the 70 plus algorithms um, to find out if it was a fraudulent charge. And they thought they were doing great because they were. And so we came along and provided a 50 millisecond SLA. And so what this assessment tool will do is it'll actually open your eyes as well to really how performant your data intensive application could be. So we're really excited to have you guys in the OEM Engineered Solutions program. So the ability to take your IP and put it on our hardware and drive storage, uh, which is always mm -hmm. exciting to all sellers at Dell, is, is really exciting. So, so looking forward to working together and driving some pipeline. Yeah, and we're really thankful for the opportunity to be here at Dell Tech World for your partnership um, we couldn't do what we're doing without you. So thanks, thanks Don. Thanks, thanks so much thank for having us.